This is part two of Surround and Reaper. So this is where we left the project the last time and I've renamed all the channels to correspond to the channels that Windows uses. Using VSTs is obviously not a problem. The important thing is to remember that you put that in front of your positioning and then I can just add some filtering on this channel and that's fine. Sometimes you want to have an effect that applies to all four channels. We're going to add a track to this at the top of our list and we're going to click this little button and that inherits all the tracks to this top track. So they now all play through this track here. Now, initially that track is set up to be two channels. So we want that to be six channels and now it'll route all the channels through the main track, as you can see. I'm gonna add a delay effect. Let's give this a long density and a lot of feedback so you can see what's going on. If we play this and stop it, you can see it's only applying to the first two channels. Now there is a simple workaround for this and that is the routing. You go in here, you can see that there's a routing option here where it can take two input channels to go to two output channels. You could look at this and go, okay, great. I'll route everything to this. And that does work. We get it on all the channels now. The problem is it's taking the first two channels as input, not the second two channels. And you can prove that by saying, okay, let's remove these two channels then and play this. Give it a lot of feedback again. And you see, you'll still get your reverb on the last two channels. So that just takes the first two channels and then duplicates it to the last two. You could of course just copy paste this effect take the last two channels and route them to the last two. Both of them now have an effect. If I play just the first one, it has an effect. And if I play just the second one, it has an effect. Of course, the only difficulty here is that when you make a change, let's say like this, it's not replicated on the second one. What I usually do is I just delete the second one, copy paste it again, and then go in my in and out and set my channels back again in the correct way. It's a bit of a faff, but yeah. it at least lets you use stereo plugins in surround and that's it for this look at surround in reaper thank you for watching